What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nathan Skills, and today we're going to be talking about how to get the 8th ivory key so that way you guys can open up the ivory box and not only that, if you guys haven't got the ghost mask, this is the easiest way for you guys to get the ghost mask in the Division 2. Don't forget, if you guys are new to my channel, first time watching the video, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so when I release a video, you guys get notified and if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is capture this monument and take over this control point so we have access to the supply room. Once you get the notification that it says Washington Monument Captured, you'll get a notification that says access to supply room unlocked. And that's the next step in unlocking this mask. We need to head to the supply room and then go all the way inside. Now once you get inside these doors, you need to open the supply room doors. Now once you open the supply room doors, now you have to do is just go down the rope slide all the way down and there's going to be a computer there now you can only do this at night time guys remember you cannot do this during the day so once you get in front of this computer you need to interact with it and then it's going to show you a map what i did is i took a screenshot of this map with my cell phone but you guys have this video right so you guys need to find those three locations and there's going to be three graves there and you need to salute those graves so i'll show you each location once we get there. So the first grave I'm going to go to is going to be just southeast of the flooded lead control point. So we're going to head there and then I'll show you an exact pinpoint once we arrive. So the first grave site I went to had some wheelbarrows next to it. Once you get in front of the grave site, this is where you need to salute. So you need to emote salute the grave. Once you do, you're going to see that the screen flickers a little bit. So take a look when I salute, it starts to flicker and then it stops. So that's how you know you correctly saluted the grave. And let's take a look exactly where I'm at. So this is the pinpoint. Take a look at this, mark it on your map, however you wanna do it, but that is where the first graveyard is. So the next grave site is gonna be southeast of the control point. So it's a little bit closer to the control point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast travel back to the control point, that I'm back at the control point. We're gonna mark the grave site, it's just south of it. So we're gonna head there, and once I get there, I'll show you exactly where the pinpoint is of where I'm at and where the gravesite is. So once you arrive to this gravesite, it's kinda hidden in between some bushes, but it's right there, it's one by itself. You just have to get close enough. I'm gonna show you where the monument is. You can see I see Unite. When I saluted this time, I didn't get it, so I have to get a little bit closer. So if you don't get the flicker, get a little bit closer. Once you get the flicker, you know you saluted correctly, and let me show you. So it's southwest a little bit, but it's south directly right where I hit that checkpoint. And the next one's gonna be northeast of it. So we're gonna head to that one right now. Now, once we get to this one, you have to do the same thing. So this is the third and final grave site that we have to salute. Once we get there, you're gonna see, it looks like it's two grave sites. You see the wheelbarrow. All you have to do is salute it. Once I salute, I get the flicker. So that is the third and final grave site. Now let me show you where it is on the map. So directly northeast. Now once you get this, you need to head back to the computer room where we started this. So we're gonna go back to the supply room. We're gonna go down the rope. After we get down the rope, we need to interact with the computer. Now you might be able to do this the same day. You might not be able to if you have time, but you'll get a circle. Now this is where it was glitching before. Now once we go up top, we're gonna to climb up the rope, and there's gonna be a circle waiting for us. A circle waiting for us on the outside, you'll see it. As soon as we get in the circle, the hunter will spawn. So all you have to do is stand inside the circle. The hunter spawned, and then we just have to finish him off. He's right in front of me. So I'm just gonna finish him off right here. He was really easy to kill too. I don't know if he's supposed to be this easy to kill, but he was really easy to kill. As soon as you put enough damage on him, he will drop, and then you'll see the ivory key that you were looking for and the ghost mask. I hadn't got the ghost mask on PS4, so this was easy for me to get. This is a lot easier to get than the other way I showed you guys how to do it before. So if you guys are looking at getting the ghost mask and the eighth ivory key, this is how you guys do it. Now to get to the ivory key box, you need to head to the base of operation. Now once you get to the base of operation, you're gonna go past the vendor, the stash box, take a right. Take a right to like if you're gonna go to the barber shop and then the ivory key box is going to be there. Now once you have the eighth key, you have access to it, you open it up and we got 
the F2000. This is a version of it and it's pretty cool. Plus, you also get a trophy for your backpack and you get a weapon skin. So let's take a look at the weapon skin and then I'll show you what the trophy backpack looks like. So if we put it on this gun right here, if we browse down, solid ivory, I just passed it, go back up and here it is. So it's all white, so if you want that all white camel skin, that's what it looks like. And then also if we go to the apparel, we're gonna see what it looks like right here. We go down and then you get this little ax, it's a hunter's ax. So definitely something if you guys want to remember killing all eight hunters getting those ivory keys that is what you want to go for if you guys have any questions after watching this video use the comment section down below remember guys smash the thumbs up if you found this video useful if you're new to my channel first time watching a video hit that subscribe button turn notification bell on so that way when i release a video you guys get notified and if you guys want to see any more content when i don't post it on this channel i post it on my second channel which is nothing but skills gameplay so definitely go check out that channel remember if you don't see me in the dark zone if you don't see me in conflict it's only a matter of time nothing but skills is out